Welcome back, beer tubers. Time to take a look at an American classic. I can't believe I haven't reviewed this already, but this is Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot. This is the 2013 batch, which they date not only on the top of the label, but on the crown of the cap as well. So I already got it poured out. It poured out with a little over a finger ahead. It's pretty hazy, dark, kind of burnt orange into uh, light reddish notes. The uh, the head's got a little bit of a tan color to it. I was just checking on the website to see what they do. It's mostly, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, beer. It's mostly American Two Row with some caramel malt, hops, bitter with Chinook, finished with Chinook, Cascade and Centennial. So uh, let's give it a nose. Oof, very nice nose. Fresh, this beer is hopped like an IP. It's really bitter, really hoppy. Oh, it smells awesome. Um, getting some sweeter hot notes, like sweet orange. Big floral note. There's almost like, like a candy orange, candied orange character to it. You know, a little bit of like a tropical character, that real nice sweetness. Um, getting some nice earthy sort of, not quite resiny, but more just kind of really piney notes. Uh, but yeah, the floral notes probably coming from the Cascade Centennials. I mean, there's definitely some citrus grapefruit character on there as well from Centennial and then the Chinook's more of that piney character. So smells great. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice stuff. It's, it's such a classic beer. It's one of the earlier American style barley wines. There's a lot more malt character on the flavor than I was getting on the nose. Really wasn't getting any malt. I've had this one sitting out probably 20 minutes from the fridge. So you could probably drink a little warmer if you wanted to. Up front you get a lot of bitter grapefruit peel. Nice pininess. That nice bitterness up front. It's definitely bitter like an IPA. You hear it with that up front. Then it goes like sweeter hot notes. More of that sort of mandarin orange. Sort of like candy citrus character. That floral note comes through midway as well. And then right when that sweetness of the hops starts to fade, the big malt comes, ton of caramel malt, uh, big sweet bread, biscuity notes, um, almost like a doughy character, like a sweet dough. There's a little bit of a fruitiness in the beer as well. I'm guessing maybe that's yeast driven because uh, they're not really using any, maybe a little bit of caramel malt contributes some fruitiness, but again, like a little bit of fruitiness probably coming from their yeast. And then it finishes really dry. The 9.6% alcohol helps dry out the beer. You can't taste it, can't smell it. And you get more lingering hop character on the end as well. Some of that bitter grapefruit, piney character is, is lingering on the tongue with just a hint of that malt sweetness. I was just checking out the back of the bottle and they mentioned that uh, spicy hops. And I wasn't really thinking spicy when I was uh, first tasting this beer, but the more I drink, I do get some spiciness. Maybe that's the Chinook coming through. They bitter with it and they finish it with it. So it's probably like a little spiciness added to that nice piney character in there as well. But this is just classic American example of the style. It's one of the oldest examples along with, I believe Anchor's Old Foghorn was before this one in terms of uh, hoppy barley wines. But um, my palate over the years has actually gone away from American barley wines. I'm enjoying more of the English style ones. The more malt forward ones tend to be a little more complex. But this is still an excellent example. I'm still going to give it an A for Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot. It's it's a classic. It will age with the best of them. I had a 97 and 98 vintages recently that were drinking really great. It, it tends to get more of a, a tea-like hop character with some age, but this thing can go, you know, a decade, no problem. Those hops will, will keep this beer along with the alcohol. It's uh, it's one that unfortunately this year is in four packs, which is a shame because it's the same price. They even lower the price. So I'm a little pissed off at them for doing that. But, you know, grab a four pack this year, drink two fresh, save the other two or however you want to work it. But definitely save some. I think I'm now a four year vertical of this going, which is tame compared to a lot of you out there. But uh, I recommend aging this one as well to see what it does. It's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.